when you're trying to get ahead, your primary focus should not be, I want to be a millionaire. And when you go to their courses and sit through their shit, why don't they create millionaires? If they created millionaires, the first thing they would do at every one of their shows, because it is like a show, it's not real. They would parade up those people that were making $58,742.10 a year who are now making a million dollars with their program. They don't. Let me also enlighten you. There are in the world 62,483 millionaires. There are 975 billionaires in the entire United States of America. You have to stop living in a fantasy world. What happens when you live in a fantasy world is you don't have to deal with the shit that's going on in your life. And that's why they put you in a fantasy world. What you need to see if you're looking for mentorship is substance. They say stuff like, dude, can you believe those effing idiots? You gave me 12 grand to hang out with me. When they like go and so-and-so spent X amount of dollars to be with me for two or three days. I'm like, I actually feel bad for those. Like I want to go get them and sit them in a chair and dump a bucket of ice water over their head and then make them listen to this guy talk for an hour or ask him questions about things that would actually benefit them and see if it does. And if it doesn't get their damn money back. But that's, they're basically, and they laugh at you. These guys that do these things when they're done with their shows, they laugh about you. I've heard them do it. They say stuff like, dude, can you believe those effing idiots? You gave me 12 grand to hang out with me. And the content has nothing to do with you getting paid and everything to do with them getting paid. If you want to be a billionaire and that's your goal, I would tell you right now, stop. You're making $61,480 a year. Let's try to get you to make hundred grand a year, two or three. And they go, well, these guys aren't very special. Elon Musk is not special. He's freaking brilliant. Yes, they took some chances. Yes, they had some. Dude, they are special. Stop. Now, if you go, could anybody go make hundred grand a year? I go, I think anybody could get the tools given to them if they work their ass off to go make a hundred, two, three, four. Yes, but let's talk about how you do that. What you need to see if you're looking for mentorship is substance. I've seen and I watched a lot of it to do my own research. I have to like stomach it. Sometimes I'll follow them. I, I, and, I, and I'm like, I can't imagine if I was these people, I would take myself outside and kick my own ass if I was them. I really would. Like I'm that embarrassed to, to be, to share like we're like that they're stealing your money because I know the guy or girl making 60, 70 grand a year needs their money. People are giving them 12 grand which is like 20% of their net worth because it's going to change your life. And you know what it's going to do? It ain't. And next year, there'll be 12 more idiots. And then there'll be another 10,000 that pay the 2,000 or 3,000. And then next year, it'll be a whole group of people different than those people because the world population is huge. And they just spin through people. Guys, when I was getting into real estate, and I was in my early 20s and all the people around me were talking about being millionaires. And they're like, what's your goal? And I'm like, to make 100 grand a year. I just got out of college. Then my goal would be to go to two or 300. I want to make a half a million a year eventually. Like I really need to. Um, and I'll go wherever I can go from there. If that becomes relatively attainable and I can find a way to make myself a million dollars a year, I will. I didn't make a million dollars a year until I was in my early 40s. But I also tell the truth about what I do and don't make. And then I started making exponentially more. No doubt about it. And it got a little bit crazy. And it has. But at the end of the day, what you have to understand is you have to start where you are. And when people are yelling and screaming about being a millionaire and being a billionaire and like every let's let's all take a breath. And let's just try to find a way to improve your financial situation today. That's the problem though. That shit sells if you're not paying attention. It sells because it makes you feel good for a minute. And then actually there's no work required on your part because there's actually no game plan. There's actually nothing to attain because they go look over there and become a billionaire. Give me 10 grand. And you're like, oh my God, if I hear one more person say invest in yourself, I always like to go, really? What does that mean? Buy your shit, right? I tell the guy one day, he's like, you need to learn to invest in yourself more. I was part of another company. And I was like, that means buy your shit. That's exactly what I said. It means buy your shit, right? He's like, well, you just got to understand how to invest in yourself. I'm like, that means buy your shit. If every one of you that's going to a seminar this weekend took all that money and put it into your business for inventory, marketing, leads, staffing, payroll support, a good accountant, 
a new location physically, better virtual support. If you did, and I could list you 30 more, if you had done that, that's a better return on your investment than sitting in a chair, listening to some dude walk across stage, screaming and yelling about how you're going to become a millionaire and telling you a story about his life, which by the way, you do know most of those stories are not true, right? Like take a step back. They all did not get beaten to death. They weren't all drug addicts. They weren't, that's not true. It just is shit that sells. It's entertainment which is fine until they take your money. I got no, this is why I'm doing this. You wanna know why I'm doing this? This is why I'm doing it. I don't give a shit how long I have any kind of platform to do anything. I'm gonna continue to yell and scream about people throwing their money at greedy salespeople selling a bullshit dream they know nobody can. By the way, if they could attain, they're not gonna help you attain it. It doesn't mean you're not one of those 61,000 people. You may very well be, 100%. You may very well be one of those. They're not going to be your ticket. I would question your ability to get there if your motivation is go to an event, pay a dude who's probably not smarter than you. That's something you'd ask yourself. Is he smarter than me? Have you listened to some of these people after they talk for a little bit and the show part's over and the yelling and the screaming and the same cliche bullshit sayings are over? Throw a few words in a new one, show you some new cars and some bullshit parade other people around, parade their family around, like when they start spitting that shit. That's always entertaining. It's just your mindset. What? Okay, what if we removed all the people that shouldn't pay you for the bullshit you peddle? Would your mindset make you rich again? What do you do to generate income outside of take other people's money? So that's why we're doing this. This is going to continue to be real content, literally real, and it'll continue to be free. And shit, maybe we'll do an event one day and charge nothing and let people come and find other like-minded people like myself who have actually accomplished things in business, not sold a dream. You go, well, Tom's got more money than you. He may or he may not, number one, because most of the people that have to run around and tell you how much they have tend not to have near as much as they profess to have. That's actually a truism, okay? But even if they did, how many people, this is what you should be asking people that you're paying. How many true millionaires have you created and can I meet them? Not the one business partner they have or this other. How many true millionaires have you created? Well, how many people have you gotten from 50 grand to 500 grand a year with your system? Can I meet them and talk to them? We just get money. And then when you ask questions, you're made you're made you're made to feel stupid for asking the questions. Well, you don't believe in yourself. No, I don't believe in you. I'm sell me on you. You're always challenging me to get better at everything. You're trying to get me to invest a couple grand to sit in your freaking seat. Sell me on you. Sell me. You know, I saw my turn the other day. He's like, well, the person that sent those emails out, pretend to partner with you is harmless. Motherfucker, they're not harmless. They're telling people I work with to pay for their bullshit training and saying they partner with me. They're not harmless and they're not my partner. And it does, it, it wouldn't upset me if it was somebody else doing something and not selling bullshit. It was somebody selling something tangible, not bullshit. And so I partner with one of the companies I run. I, I'd go, hey, dude, don't do that. It's weird. But like they're selling, right? right, right. If it was a genuine service, but when they're peddling, breathing life into you, changing your life when somebody you don't know who doesn't know you and you don't know them says they're going to change your life be careful and then take all the stuff they spit at you and then give me 20 or 30 or 40 or hell five or maybe two tangible things you can do differently to go from making 50 80 grand a year to making two or three four or five hundred that's what we're going to talk about here if you like that direction subscribe comment share like but until I have, as long as I have breath in my freaking lungs, we are going to try to help people because I did it. I went to the bullshit. I paid the money. I paid everything. I went to every seminar. I spent thousands of dollars. I used to go to one, 7,500 bucks for two days. This one was $5,000 for a day. This one, I, I paid the VIP shit. I sat in the seats. I chased these people around and I realized that they weren't that fucking smart. And they didn't have a lot to offer. And my income actually went down because I was investing in myself, still doing the same shit I was doing. And then I actually said to myself, you know what? 
Why don't I find real people that could actually mentor me? We'll talk about that at some other point in time. But I'm trying to tell you, we will tell you, I will tell you how to go from making, I was working on social work making 60 grand a year. I will tell you how to go from there, make a couple hundred grand, make a million dollars. I'll tell you. Doesn't mean everybody's going to do it, but I will tell you how I did it. And I'll be honest about it. But I won't ask you to pay me for it. That has to stop. Until then, entrepreneurs are going to get chewed up and spit out by these idiots online spewing their shit that they know doesn't work and behind your back laughing that you pay for it because that's what they do. These idiots paid 15, 20 grand to fly with me or this idiot paid come to my house and have dinner. Who the hell do you think they are? They're not even that important and that impressive. They've accumulated wealth on the backs of middle American hardworking people. Is it legal? Yes. Is it ethical? No. I need your help to make a stop. If you like this, please help us get this word out. Please comment. If you go, Sean, I think we should give them everything. I want to go to these events at once so we can pay them 10 grand. Tell me if you've gone and you go, I learned these things here, these three things, not have a better mindset, get up earlier. You have to focus on the positive. Like, dude, shut the up. Seriously? Comment, like, share, tell me. You agree, you disagree. I want to have a discussion. I understand how I feel, and I'm very passionate about it. If you like this video, I think you'll love the rest of the stuff we got. Love the content. We need your help sharing it, though. This is an opportunity for us to help people genuinely do better at whatever they're trying to do better at and stop being sold a bullshit dream to avoid and divert their attention from their bank account that is being drained by these people spewing their bullshit.